My name is Grace Wiley. Um, I am currently 17 years old and I really, really want to push for a change in this world. Um, I have lost too many people to suicide and too many people in general just from bullying and I really want to be able to be a voice for those who couldn't. Um, I am going to talk a little about a little bit about my friend Tilly. Tilly was 15 when she passed away, 16th of February 2022. When I first met her, she was only 13 and she was still struggling at that point. Um, obviously it increased, um, but I would really just like to spread awareness of the impacts of bullying. Little trigger warning disclaimer, um, this video will have topics of suicide, mental health, um, please if you do not feel comfortable watching this or if you don't feel you're in the right headspace, please do not watch this. As I talk about the topic of bullying, I'd like to also be a voice for those who had lost their lives due to bullying. Some of them you may have heard of, some of them you may not. And I will leave a link for each individual person um, in the description below for, and it will take you to an article, article about each of them and their stories. You may know of this girl, her name was Rosalie Avila. She was born July 27, 2004, and she ended her life December 1st, 2017. She was 13 years old. You may know another girl. Her name is Amy Jane, better known as Dolly Everett. She was born May 1st, 2003, and she passed away 3rd of January, 2018. She was 14 years old. There also is another few other people I'm gonna talk about before I get back to Tilly. Um, in 2021, there was a young girl named Isabella Titchenor. She was born May 15, 2011. She ended her life November 6, 2021. She was 10 years old. Um, also in 2021, her name was Michaela Lynn Brewster. She was born February 16, 2008. She ended her life February 11, 2021, five days before her 13th birthday. She was age 12. And in 2022, there was a young boy named Drake Andrew Hardman. He was born May 26, 2009 and sadly passed away February 10th, 2022. He was 12 years old. And then there's Matilda Kate, known as Tilly Rosewarn. She was born 19th of October, 2006. She ended her life 16th of February, 2022. She was 15 years old. All of these pe people that I have mentioned, um, they all ended their life um, due to the severity of their bullying that was going on in their lives. Um, as much as stuff had been reported that they had been done, the majority of them, the bullying and the comments, um, kind of just got swept under the rug and I really, really need you guys to help spread awareness and help teach the younger kids, even the older ones, to be kind. Be kind because kindness costs nothing and you don't know what's going on behind closed doors and you don't know what's going on in someone's mind. You could, It, it could just take one word one day to push that person over the edge and... that results in them ending their lives and then causing great pain for everyone else around them. 
In Australia in 2020, there was 3,139 suicides. Out of those, 2,384 were male and 755 were female. All of those lives cut short due to the impact of bullying. You may know the saying, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you. That is a lie. For each of these individuals, words, words hurt them and words broke them. Suicide is the second highest cause of death from individuals aged 15 to 29. Between 2007 and 2019, the percentage of cyberbullying that occurred rose 47%. And as much as there are policies, um, we still need to do more. As a result of Tilly's passing, I would like to read an extract of her brochure that her family themselves have wrote. It's called Lessons from Tilly, Death by a Thousand Cuts. Tilly's death is certainly a tragedy, and although she died on 16th of February 2022, in reality her death was the result of a myriad of events, each of which cut into Tilly's soul and destroyed who she believed herself to be. Sally, Tilly died from a thousand cuts that occurred over the course of her short life. From eight-year-old girls telling her that they all voted it should have been her dad who passed after the passing of another friend's father, to not being invited to various birthday parties that everyone is at, and then having people ring, text and taunt her all night long from the, that same party, to having fake nudes spread around on social media, to meeting up with friends at local shopping centres only to have them harass her and verbally abuse her in public. To return to school from hospital to be shunned and marginalised is too hot to handle. These things and many others occurred both at school and outside of school. The failures of multiple schools to appropriately manage bullying that had occurred on their school grounds and by the students reveals a systematic problem in our education system where this behaviour is minimised as uncontrollable as it occurs at recess or lunch and more fundamentally excused because they come from a good family. We share these examples, of which there are fortunately many more, not to cast blame at any one person or one school, but to plead with all our educators and parents that something has to change. If anything can come from the loss of Tilly, we wish that our education system moves past the security of having a policy or observing Are You OK days to ensuring that real hard conversations are had and that the bullying behaviour is challenged and stopped and the genuine repercussions are followed through. And finally, to stress to our young people, every post you write, every image you share, every word you say has an impact. We beg you, before you post, share or speak, ask yourself three questions. Is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? If the answer is no to any of these questions, do not post, do not share and do not speak. We beg you. Because no one ever knows when these actions are the human's deepest cut or the human's last cut. So you may be asking what I want from you guys or what I'm trying to get to the point of in this video. Bullying is and never will be okay. I need you to have a hard, serious conversation with anyone and everyone around you. I need you to enforce the fact that words have actions and words have consequences and sometimes words can make or break a person. If you witness someone putting down another person do something about it don't just be a bystander the last messages that tilly received before she passed away a person had messaged her and said you didn't try to kill yourself hard enough days later she was found passed away and that's the thing kids these days are using kill yourself as a joke and that itself should never be joked about. It, it's sad to see so many people 
go through mental illness and as a result of that they lose their lives their lives get cut short and we need to change we need to do something about it otherwise there's not going to be very many of us left we need to be able to enforce the fact that if someone does something wrong, if bullying does occur at school, we need to know that those people get punished because that's not okay. They need to know that what they are doing is wrong. Growing up, most people would say bullying is just normal and every kid goes through it. But each and every kid gets affected differently. Some people brush it off, some of them it eats them from the inside. Eventually, once you get told these things over and over and over again, you start saying them to yourself and you start believing that they are really true. We need justice for those who have lost their lives. And we can start now by having a conversation. If you are struggling with thoughts of suicide or self-harm, please reach out. People do care and people are here for you. You can reach a few numbers such as Lifeline on 13 11 14 or you can contact the Mental Health Line. Please, please, please reach out. You are worthy. You are lovable. You are enough. And if you know that a bullying is occurring, don't be a bystander. Be a voice for those who can't. Make a change. Be a voice, not an echo. Biggest condolences to the Rosewall family and the families of those I feature in this video. Please ensure you look after yourself and make sure to reach out if you need help. Help is always available 24-7. Love you guys. Stay safe.